This is Jimi Hendrix, and this episode is called Becoming a Rhino on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. I'm Jimi Hendrix. I am a success, confidence, and thrive coach. Remember the So if you come with me, I will give you these patterns. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are going to be going over to. We're going to be going over to Mystical Stadium. Where I'm going to get my uh, my address. We called uh, becoming a rhino. Thank you all. Thank you. You 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 may be seated. Many of you know this is a series I'm doing called Empower Entrepreneur. Empower Entrepreneurs. And you know that well, it's been almost a week since I've done the three parter on critical thinking. For entrepreneurs, but the patterns for critical thinking. Well, now I'm going to talk to you about what it takes to become a rhino. And you're kind of thinking, why a rhino? A rhino is thick skin, charges forward, and it never gives up, and you can never stop a rhino. Maybe I'll give you a 10 to 15 pointer on how to become one. Number one, absolutely believe in yourself. You know, that's on the premises of Norman Vincent Peale's book, The Power of Positive Thinking. It's often hard sometimes to believe in ourselves when circumstances are hard. You know, we've, maybe you've had some, some business reversals. Maybe we've had some upset in our life. I understand that. It's hard. But believe in yourself anyway. I'm going to give you a Bible verse that goes with that. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. You have to be able to believe in yourself. Number two, burn the boats. Let me give you a story that il- illustrates this. Okay? Hernando Cortez. He was one of the conquistadors. And he and his ragtag tag band board some boats and set sail for Cuba. Because you see, on the island of Cuba, there was this treasure. And the Spaniards won it. And many people have tried to get that treasure. But they were always defeated by the natives. And so they arrive on on, uh, the shores of Cuba. 
And Cortez sits down with the high council among his men and makes plans for about 10 days about what to do. They make the plan, they, they, they get ready to work on set it in motion. Now, what do you think that plan involved? Some high power weaponry. They needed something to withstand the flying arrows of, of the natives. They need, he need, Cortez needed to motivate his people to, to be brave. To be brave. And on day number 10, he sits everybody down. And he says, You see those bolts out there? And they said, Yes, sir. He said, We're going to burn them. And some of the people were looking at Cortez like, you know, Cortez, uh, uh, are you crazy? Es su loco? Es su loco? But burn the boats? And Cortez said, we need to make a way to where we absolutely have no choice but to take the island. And you're like, and, and they're like, what? Burn, burn the boat? How are you expected to get back? And Cortez says, do you want the treasure? And they're like, are you kidding? Of course we want the treasure. Of course we want the treasure. And Cortez says, well, then we got to take the island. Because if we don't take the island, the, the natives will send arrows after us and we'll go all the way to all the others who try to get that treasure. So what does this, what do you mean, Cortez? So he takes his top men aside and he said, You see all those boats? I'm like, yes, sir. Go out and burn the damn boats. <laughs> what do the boats represent? The boats represent the excuses and paradigms that hold you back. The old conventional thinking and wisdom that will go against you being an entrepreneur. Far many people that don't want to think of multiple income streams, that don't want to think of being your own boss and, and, and calling the shots. Their thoughts are, oh, but I have a job. Da, 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 you know, same old crazy pattern that hasn't served them. And we are now in a combined age economy. So all those people who are stuck in the industrial age mindset, I want to ask you, what are you going to do now? <coughs> you still have those boats? Go out and burn the damn boats. <laughs> Get rid of them. All the excuses, all the things that you know that are holding you back. I used to wonder why Tony Robbins used to say, if you want to take the island, then you've got to burn the boats. And to think, I learned at an ACN convention that it was Hernando Cortez that developed that idea.
Number three, clues are for the taking in success. Search for them. You're like, what? Man, you are certifiably nuts. You don't make any sense to me at all whatsoever. You are cre No, success leaves clues. I want you to think about it. Proverbs 13, verse 20 says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Associate with successful people that are going to give you these clues. You want those clues. You want those clues. <laughs> Search for them. Non-negotiable. Number four. Decide to win. This is very key in your business. Decide to win. And this reminds me of something that Dr. Del Toro McNeil said uh, some years back. He tore up the win-lose dichotomy and said, and created one called the win-learn dichotomy. You either win or you learn. How about them apples? <laughs> you win something or you learn something. Can you be a rhino? But say when something and something doesn't go your way. You didn't win that big prospect. You didn't win that big uh, 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 client. Are you going to sit there and roar like an idiot? It's not being like a rhino. It's like, oh, what was me? I lost. I'm nothing but a loser. Who told you that? Is it the inner critic in your head? I told you in my last in my last three episodes. Well, I talked about the negative thoughts in our heads, how they're critters from hell. <laughs> in deciding to win, you have to deal with and defeat them critters. Or they're just going to keep, they're just going to stay right there until you come back. And it's inevitable you come back to them thoughts. And they're just going to dump on you until you cannot win. So decide to win now. Number five. Expect the best. And by this, is it's, it's a very strong one. Raise your standards. Some people say, oh... Lower your expectations, because sometimes our ten crap just don't happen. It's like, what does this mean? Go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass code. Do not collect $200. <laughs> I mean, come on. Expect the best. Raise your standards. A rhino doesn't have so so thin a skin that it lowers its standards only to lose. No, it expects its best and raises its standards. That's something to think about. I would think so. 
Number five, forget about what other people think. This is one thing I've been saying for years and years and years, especially about social media. Social media is one of the biggest problems because some people look at social media, oh, look at so and so, what's the celebrity? He's got a big fly out front. He's got this and that and that. He must think I'm a joke and a loser. When are you going to wisen up and realize that you need to forget about what people think? You can't su- succeed caring about what other people think. I mean, that's crazy. That's craziness. Sit there and fart about, fart about and think about what other people think. Say... Did you find the latest Candy Lane game on social media? <laughs> hey, you better download Farmville and play with me because if you don't down, download Farmville and play with me, I'm going to kick your butt. <laughs> I mean, come on, don't play like that. Don't play like that. You're going to sit there and compare yourself to other and, oh my gosh, what did person going to think about me here? What did person going to think about me there? Excuse me? Les Brown said, other people's opinion of me is not is none of my business, and why should it be? I mean, I'm I'm gonna kind of joke around a bit because I want to. Okay, I want to. So so bear with me. Bear with me. It's kind of like. Oh, did you fart? (laughs) Well, you should have posted it that you did. We'd all sit there and make fun of you there together. Are you going to talk about a lot, walk around and fart a lot, thinking about what other people think and think that that's a standard in your life? You cannot walk or run to success like that. Okay, that is stupid. Doesn't Rhino look around? Let's say... The rhino is stupid. He ain't gonna be like a true rhino. And he sees that big old tree over there. Oh, I'm just gonna bump into that tree. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. He's gonna go after that tree and eat it. Number seven. Goal setting is key. Some people may look at me and say, I don't have no goals. (laughs) I give up on goals. That's stupid. Set them up every year. Always set it for failure. With an attitude like that, yeah. 
that violates rule number one of becoming a rhino, which is believe in yourself. Seriously. Setting goals. Why do you think I wrote that down as a value for my book? The Winning Personality. A values-based approach for entrepreneurship in this economy. Goal setting is a value. It adds value to you. It adds value to your business. That's what's important. A rhino keeps its eye on the goal. Let's say it's nighttime. And that rhino is hungry. And that rhino sees in the distance some nice good shrubbery. It wants that shrubbery. You think it's going to sit there and oh, I'll give up on that shrubbery. I'm going to sit there and wait for it to come to me. No. no. That rhino is going to be charging for that shrubbery. Saying, heck with this, I'm going to eat it. But you see, a true, a true entrepreneurial rhino don't quit. That type of rhino don't quit. The rhino keeps his or her eye on the goal. On the goal. It's important to set goals. You know, some time ago I had lunch with a friend of mine from Toastmasters who's become a good mentor of mine. And she said, I think it's important before you go into business with me or anybody else that you sit down and you write your upcoming goals. Guess what? I intend to do just that. Sit there. Write your goals. That's important. That's important. Because I'll tell you something. A rhino has laser focus. A rhino has laser laser focus. That's why it's able to get what it's after to get. Goal setting. Many, many people like to start that in in September, I'm in agreement with people like Jan, with like Jack Cannon, Canfield and Ryan Tracy. You should be focusing on your goals a lot more often than that. You know, well, some parts of this I've been I've been I've been seri- I've been kind of playing around with to, to illustrate a point, but the rest of these are going to be some pretty serious matter for for, for me to discuss. Number eight, and this is a good one. Okay, this is good content. So, damn it, taking that notes now. You need to be taking. You should be taking notes all all together. Number eight, discipline and determination carries the day. A rhino is disciplined. It's after what it's after. Nothing stops it. Okay? More important, determination. You need to have determination that is unstoppable. You hear me? You need to have determination that's unstoppable, unbeatable, unrepeatable, because God gave it to you. I'm telling you this with the bottom of my heart. You need to hear this. You want to succeed in life and be a rhino? You've got to be determined. 
And by determined, I mean Mad Dog determined. <laughs> Being a rhino means you're charging forth. That rhino thinks charge. It's thick skin. Doesn't matter what it rushes up against. Nothing's going to stop it. Do you have that belief in yourself? Hmm? Do you have that? Are you strong enough to want to burn them boats to take the island? Are you strong enough to seek them clues? Are you strong enough to forget about what other people think? Because you you cannot succeed if all you do is just sit there and care about what other people think. Okay? I'm just telling you the way I see it. You need to be mad dog determined to succeed. Some of the most greatest people in American history have had that determination. You can't beat them. They're truth believer in, in themselves and what God has for them. And that's non-negotiable, okay? You can't beat them. They have the attitude of the rhino. Nothing is ever going to stop them. All right, we're rounding towards the end. Number nine, creativity is the name of the game. You want to succeed in the in the in the sphere of being an entrepreneur. It's not just enough to be industrious; you need to be creative. Creativity is the name of the game for entrepreneurs nowadays. Because the economy has, has changed. Instead of working harder, you need to work smarter. Be around mentors who can teach you to work smarter. To be creative. Okay? Because you see, we are co-creators with God. And two-thirds of God is go. So he's calling us to go. He's calling us to divide and conquer. How much of a risk are you willing to take to divide and conquer? And to create and be at your dead level best. What's your passion in doing so? Number 10, faith. You need faith to succeed nowadays. And so many people give me the attitude, well, what if I don't believe in God? You're sunk if you're not, but even if you don't, you need to believe in something beyond yourself. And, and you might as well believe in God anyway, okay? You might as well believe in God and Jesus Christ in order to succeed. I'm just, I'm just speaking my heart here, Okay? That's the basis of Empower Your Pattern 2.0 is, is faith in God and Jesus Christ because they set the patterns for us to go out for success that's in the scriptures, that's in the Bible. Okay? Non-negotiable. These are the patterns. God set them. I didn't set them. You think about that. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of Pattern Realm. Please share this with Mama Son, Papa Son, and everyone. Don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others won't so you can step up, step out, and step in to have what others can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. 
God bless each and one of you. Y'all go out there and have a blessed day.